friends. So just a quick little detour. We're going to do another uh, project besides the Jeep. Yeah, Jeep's still here. So, um, gosh, it's probably been a couple of years ago. I brought some of these Harbor Freight Braun uh, 5,000 lumen lights. In fact, now if you went to buy these, they're now 5,500 lumens. And I'm going to be buying some more of them. But in the meanwhile, I wanted to put them in. And the ones that are above me in the background are 3,000 lumens. So I expect these to be hella bright. Uh, when you unpack the box, what you get, it's got a really nice connection mechanism and it comes with uh, a nice four foot cord. Um, a cord could be mounted a little bit better, but it also comes with a chain. Let's see where the hell it went. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so I'll find the chain, get the ladder set up, and we'll get busy putting. Uh, a few of these in. I'm going to add them above my the end of the, the uh, shop here where I need some more light. Okay, so I found the chains, and it comes with these really chintzy little chains, and it comes with some really chintzy little hooks. So I'm going to show you sort of my, uh, the way I, I work with these. So, first things first, you want to attach these, and you're going to want to crimp them shut, because if you don't, uh, they may not stay there. And so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put the long end onto the light and then I'm just going to close it with a pair of pliers. And if you use the right pliers, you won't fight with it like I am. Okay, so I'm going to show you on this one a little bit closer up. I gotta find. Now, what do I do with the second one? I guess I knocked it in here somewhere. I need more light. There it is. That's the problem is it's the same color as stuff. So there's a small end and a big end. And what I'm doing is putting the small end or the big end onto the light. There's no rhyme or reason to this, so if you don't want to do it that way, you can do it the other way. But then I'm closing it so that the light can't get off the chain. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put the chain on and I'm going to close the other end so that the chain stays attached. There you go. So I'll do the same thing to the other end, and then I'm going to get set up to put them put them up uh, top. So before we go too much further, I want to talk a little bit about my setup. So when I ran the lighting circuit for this shop, I installed outlets up on the joists and it runs on both sides of my shop. And that gives me the ability to add or move lights anywhere I want. And then what I do is I, instead of installing hooks, I'm just using screws. So I'll show you how this light is installed. You can see I just add a screw and then I put the chain through it and that's going to work good on this as well. So I'm going to figure out where I want my uh, light's going to be over this. So I'm going to add it up here 
and I'm just gonna get some screws and put them in. So I've already mounted one of these bolts. And so I like my lights up as close as possible to the ceiling. So I'm just gonna install it there where it fits. And then I'm gonna go to the other side and figure out where the next one needs to go. Now let's see what we can do with this. Nothing. So we'll just go ahead and... No, nope, nothing. So we're actually gonna have to swap this around and we'll deal with this in a minute. And this is where the way these are installed, this mounting mechanism here, this is where this is an advantage because on the commercial electric lights that came from Home Depot, um, I didn't have that option. They're, they're just in little slots and they tend to come out of the slots if you disturb the lights much. So I actually really like these and these will eventually be all that's in the shop. So I want you to see that this is really not a very complicated process. You just kind of pick a spot and you install a screw and you want to point the screw slightly down. And that's really all there is to it. And then you bring this up and how close can we get it? So we want to come up in this little slot here between the wire and the packs. And that's going to be the spot we mounted in. All right, so let's go to the next part, which is hook it up to power. And... go wow it is brighter and you can see these side by side that's 3,000 lumens that's 5,000 lumens that's a heck of a lot of light I'm gonna put one more over there and then I gotta figure out where the other one's gonna go um the cord is gonna jack with my um you know one of the things I like about commercial electric is you can daisy chain those so I have um I have one outlet that serves like you know the mo the bulk of them but uh I can live without that I'd rather have brighter lights. I need all the light I can get. It helps my old eyes. So let me uh, let me do the next thing and get this next one set up. Okay, those are substantially brighter. Um, I mean, you can see it side by side on the camera. It's 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 a 40% increase, but it looks a lot brighter than that. So it's going to make it a lot easier for me to work on the Jeep. And um, eventually, I'm going to put more of these in, and then I'll relocate my existing lights. Um, and that's what I like about using the hanging shop light type fixtures is if, you know one burns out and i have had commercial electric die on me just take it down and throw it away it was only you know those were 40 bucks the harbor freight ones uh, i think i paid 25 dollars a piece for them on sale or 29 dollars but now they're down to 22 dollars and they're they're 10 percent brighter than the ones i just put up today so um you know you can only buy two or three of them at a time eh, who cares I, I will be adding a lot more of those to the shop and uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. And remember to subscribe, like, and let me know what you think on comments.